Bringing gay history to life as we close out Pride Month. 55 years ago at a New York City bar, the gay rights movement, now the LGBTQ rights movement, was born. The Stonewall National Museum, Archives and Library in Fort Lauderdale hosted a reenactment of the Stonewall Uprising. As queer patrons danced that night, police raided the Stonewall Inn, arresting people, but this time the LGBTQ community fought back. That uprising went on for five days, giving birth to a movement that continues today. In the reenactment, volunteers threw foam bricks, symbolizing the bricks and bottles that flew in the uprising. The purpose here was to immerse people in history, illustrating the struggle for rights. It's an opportunity for us to celebrate our history. We all know that the uprising at Stonewall was a landmark episode in, in the history of the struggle for equality in our community. And we're all here to relive it, and I think it's an opportunity for those people who are younger to recognize the event and to appreciate what it took to get to where we are today. At Stonewall, the queer community and police were pitted against each other. At the reenactment, quite a difference. Police officers carried an enormous rainbow flag. Eight police departments from Miami-Dade and Broward participated.